What's up, everybody? Chris with South Carolina Gun School, and today we're going to be talking about eye dominance. Welcome back, everybody. Like I said, we're going to be talking about eye dominance today. And yes, that is a factor when you are shooting. Knowing your dominant eye is going to play a huge factor in your shooting, especially when you're aiming and acquiring a target. This is, you can't just go out and say, all right, I'm right handed, I'm right eye dominant. Unfortunately, it doesn't work that way. Uh, it, and I'll be honest, even, even in the military, now, as you grow, depending on what unit you're with or what your MOS is or what you might be doing, you know, maybe they do go over eye dominance. Um, for me, the units that I was with, they never discussed eye dominance. It was your right handed, your right eye dominant, your left handed, your left eye dominant. And unfortunately, it's not always the case. And I didn't find that out until I had got out of service and I had started taking some more professional training because I knew I was going to want to get a permit. I was going to want to carry a handgun. I wanted to be proficient with it. Uh, Cause that's another thing with the military is depending on your unit. If you're not with a unit that carries a firearm or I shouldn't say a firearm, that carries a handgun, you're not gonna, ever going to hardly ever shoot a handgun. And then when you do <laughs> the qualification, I'm sorry, is a huge joke. It just is. They're just making sure you can. Honestly, their qualification is about like South Carolina permit qualification. I hate to say it. It's a joke. It is an absolute joke. It needs to be redone. But that's a different video, different conversation for a different day. Yes, eye dominance is a factor. The reason I say that, I shoot right-handed, but I'm left-eye dominant, so I'm what they call cross-eye dominant. And that's why I wanted to do this video, to help people understand eye dominance, ways to see what your dominant eye is and how all that is going to play in when you're shooting, start shooting, or to get better at your shooting, aiming, target acquisition, all that good stuff. But yes, I am one of the anomalies out there. I shoot right-handed, but I have to aim with my left eye. So what happens there is I just have to, I'm a little bit more, I would say center-lined with my handgun than what some of your right-handed, right-eye dominant people are. Especially when you start shooting or moving into red dots or you want to start learning how to shoot with both eyes open, this is going to be huge. Absolutely huge. Because if you try to force yourself to use the eye that is not your dominant eye, you're, you're going to struggle. You are going to struggle. Red dots, to me, it's a little bit easier with both eyes open. Um, iron sights a little bit harder, all right, unless you have some of the excess big dot sights like I have here on the sign in the background, all right? So if you're not quite ready for the red dot or you don't want a red dot on a particular gun, but you still want to learn or shoot with both eyes open, then I would definitely recommend going out and getting some of their big dot sites all right that's excess sites.com xs like x-ray sierra sites excess sites.com uh, my code is scgs10 like south carolina gun school abbreviated scgs10 and you will get a discount off of any sites that you buy from them and they also have more than just your handgun sites they've got rifle and they've got shotgun but I will say, if you don't want a red dot on a particular gun or you're just not a fan of red dots and you like your iron sights, but you do want to get a little bit better, to me, those big dot sights are about as close as you're going to get to having a red dot on your gun. I'm getting ready to put some on my Hellcat because I just don't, I don't want a red dot on my carry gun. 
It's just where I'm at with it. That's just my opinion. That's just how I feel, what I like to carry. The other thing you got to think about is when you're carrying, if you happen to use it, that gun is going into an evidence locker and whatever's on that gun is going with it. So I just don't want to have a lot of money on my carry gun. So I will be putting excess big dot sights on it as well as my fighting gun. So I've got backup sights in case something happens with my dot. But back to the eye dominance, there's two ways. There might be more than two ways. I know of two ways to do this. Uh, one to me is better than the other. And I want to go over this and kind of be able to help everybody determine what your eye dominance is. Now, one way to determine your eye dominance is you take your hands out like this, make a very small triangle. All right, the triangle should be big enough to see whatever you're looking at with both eyes open. So I've got a little cup over here that I've got set up. All right, I've got my triangle set up. All I can see is the cup. Both eyes open, as you can see, both eyes are open. I just start pulling my hands all the way back to my face. Just stay focused on the cup or whatever you're using, and bam, look at that. Where'd it go? My left eye. All right, you see it drifted right to my left eye. Even if I do this and I try to force it to the eye that I want it to go to, it's over my right eye, but I can't see what I was focused on. Now, if you're going to do it that way, if you have a hat on, you're going to have to take your hat off or flip it around because you've got to go all the way back to your face. So if I had a hat on, it would just stop probably about right here. I've still got both eyes on it. I'm not really sure which eye it's really going to. I've got to be able to go all the way back to my face when I do this. I've got to be able to come all the way. Just like if I stay focused on the camera, I've got just the camera lens. I'm going to pull, stay focused, right to my left eye. The other way to do it that I've heard some people talk about and recommend is you take your thumb, all right, both eyes open. I've got it over the camera lens. It's a little blurry, all right, but I can see my thumb there. It's covering the camera lens. Now, if I close my left eye, I can see the camera lens. If I close my right eye, I can't see the camera lens. My thumb is in the way. Okay. So there's another way to determine your eye dominance. I personally teach and use the triangle. It's, it ain't got to be anything big, light socket, light switch, a cup, shot glass, whatever you want to use, little sticky notes stuck up on the wall. Whatever you want to use, a little camera lens, whatever make your triangle big enough to see that object and drag it all the way back until you're touching your face you will be on your dominant eye now there's some people out there that have tried to push me to start shooting left-handed since i'm left eye dominant yeah. <laughs> that was not happening that just was not happening. I gave it a try, and whew, the draw stroke, everything looked like a freaking fish out of water. I was just flopping all over the place. It, it just did not work just because I've, I've gotten so used. I've practiced so much with my right hand. But what happens is when I draw, you see I come a little bit more center line or a little bit more over to my left side. So when I, when I want to shoot with a red dot, I've got to make sure when I draw, I'm not coming here to where my right eye would be if I were to close my left eye because I'm not going to find my dot. I've got to draw and come kind of across and kind of into this center line a little bit to the left. You might even see my head lean a little bit more to the right. So I'm trying to get everything lined up. Now some of y'all probably out there, ooh, 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 what about a rifle? So when I'm shooting a rifle, I'm just so used to shooting it with my right hand that I aim with my right eye. But 
your rifle is here, your optic to me is a little bit different. It's not floating out in front of you. You've got it shouldered. To me, it's a lot easier to grab and use my right eye. But now I will say when I do a transition from my right shoulder to my left shoulder, yes, I can see a little bit better grouping shooting that way a lot of people are like well why don't you just shoot left-handed i just i can't get used to it being on that side and all the main manipulations i've just i've always done it with my right because again that's how i was always taught so it and i will say it does sometimes make grabbing my dot on my rifle a little harder shooting with both eyes open so I've really been having to work at that to make sure I can get it with both eyes open. But now, again, I move it over to my left, pick everything up right away with both eyes open because we're on my dominant side as far as my eye dominance. You ask me to right left-handed, you ask me to bat left-handed, swing a golf club left-handed, it is absolutely horrible, just like I told you with my draw stroke. I've just gotten so used to doing everything with my right hand but to understand your eye dominance is what's going to be able to put you if you kind of plateaued somewhere this is going to push you over that plateau is understanding your eye dominance especially like i talked about with the red dots so just go out take a couple of minutes in your home wherever and figure out your eye dominance if you don't know your eye dominance. But that is a huge, huge factor when it comes to shooting, when it comes to aiming and your target acquisition. It is a factor. Don't just push that off thinking, I ain't got to worry about it. If I'm right-handed, I'm right eye dominant. No, you do not. Know your eye dominance. So please take a moment, figure that out. Like I said, if you're not wanting a red dot, but you want to get a little bit better and improve your shooting, go out and get you some excess big dot sights. So again, that is excesssights.com, S-C-G-S-10. I'll have that up here or down here somewhere so you can get that information. They are one of my affiliates. They will be linked in on my website as well as all of my other social media. So please, Please take the time and get you figure out your eye dominance. This will push you over that plateau that you might be hitting, or this will get you started in the right direction to making sure you have your fundamentals exactly where they need to be. And always remember folks, if you're not shooting, you're reloading. If you're not reloading, you're fighting. If you're not fighting, you're dead. Train to live. See you on the range.